We have people in our midst who cannot get financing for their businesses, who cannot get gold because they, even though they have established businesses, they can't get anybody to finance them in this period. And they blame that on the federal government. So we're, we have a sort of a, a, an expansive population, an expanded population, that actually suffers at the local level in New Mexico to what's going on, from what's going on in Washington. We have a connection, therefore, between what the problem is, where the problem is orchestrated, where it's, where it's financed, and where we live, and what we might do. So given that consideration, we thought, okay, what could we do in the way of energizing a public? If we, if we start talking about foreclosure rates, and uh, credit default swaps, and fraud in Wall Street, where's the kind of blank state? Is there some way, however, in which we can connect this enormous problem this trillion, trillion dollar institution, the Wall Street industry, to our daily lives and create enough understanding throughout Mexico, not just in San Pedro, but throughout Mexico, that we could begin to create not just a group of people in the Unitarian Church, but a movement. Could we create a movement? And it's a big question. There's a large gap. Not, not that we're going to go through. There's a large gap between where we are and where we would have to go to create a movement. Brian Eagle is with us here tonight, and Brian has been an, a leader in this conversation in the legislature in the last several years. He's been up against the absolute brick wall, an absolute stone wall, because the financial industry has all the tools that we have so far had none. We've asked Brian to come tonight because we wanted to see that there are people who might be able to organize and create a movement behind him, create noise in the state behind him and underneath him and around him and beside him so that he might have some purchase in the legislature. He's going to speak to him. An alternative to a state bank that he's been working on, thinking about on maybe a state bank, and we're we'll going to speak to whatever he wants to speak to. Brian is one of the most elegant, eloquent, and elegant uh, legislature, we, uh, frankly, legislators with whom I uh, have ever been Brian's first class. So give him a thank you. Just for coming. Thank you. 